Hey everyone, I'm Father Jeff Ehring from St. Anne's Church in Hamilton and super excited that we'll be able to open up the church tomorrow and to get things going once again. Just want to share with you this quote from St. Padre Pio that's so true. He says, Each holy mass heard with devotion produces marvelous effects in our souls, spiritual and material graces that we ourselves do not know. It would be easier for the world to survive without the sun than to do without the Holy Mass. And for many of us, we've been experiencing this, right? Where it's so hard to survive and to thrive without the Holy Mass, without the graces that come from the Mass. And so, um, yeah, we're going to be opening up tomorrow, Tuesday, June the 16th. I just want to give you a little, a little uh, intro as to what to expect. So as you're coming into the church, I would ask that you use these, these main doors primarily. Those will be the main entrance point uh, when you're coming to the church. The side door will be opened um, on Sherman's side with, with the ramp, but only those people who need that will be allowed in that entrance way. Everyone else, you got to come in the main doors. And uh, as you're coming to the church and coming into the church and when you're inside the church, please at all times, out of respect for everyone, maintain the six feet social distance. Very important, we are told, so please do that. As you're coming in, you'll notice this table that we've set up here. It's got a number of different things on it, some of the signage. It's got the hand sanitizer. It's got this box here. It's a Christmas box. Let me see if I can show you here. Um, but it's for the collection, right? So you can drop off your collection before or after the Mass. There won't be a collection uh, during the Mass itself. And then just a few other points uh, to go over. Um, one, a number of people have been asking for confession, right? What, what can we expect for confession? We've been away for a while. We, want, we need the sacrament. So what I'm planning on doing is having confession Saturdays. So if you go to our website, or, or you can call, and, uh, but the best way is through the website, click on the link, and you'll be able to set up an appointment with me. And what I'll do is all day Saturday, I'll be ready and willing to hear confessions. So you just have to sign up, and we'll do it outside in the parking lot. Just walk around, and I can hear your confession and give you the absolution. Um, and then uh, a few other things. So. Uh, for during the Mass, there's a number of things that we'll have to do, but uh, just follow. I'll give the directions. Uh, just follow the directions of myself or the volunteers. You're coming into the church um, or during the time of Holy Communion, all that stuff, and you'll be able to do well. You'll notice when you're coming in, I don't know if you can see well in this video, I've, uh, we all, we're only using about every third pew, so we blocked off a whole bunch of the pews just in order to help to maintain that distance. As you're coming up to the front, you'll notice here for the time of Holy Communion, do you see the green tape there? That means you stand and wait here. Keep the two uh, meter distance, the six feet. And then you'll notice along the front, I've just put some green tape on the steps here. You'll see it uh, as I'm going along, I think. Yes, there's green tape, green tape. Those are the spots where when it's time for communion, just come and stand in front of that green tape and then I will be able to give you the Holy Communion um, as, as, as usual. So uh, I want to also remind you that Bishop Crosby has, uh, um, has extended the dispensation from the obligation to, a, uh, to, to attend Sunday Mass. And so you, are, you aren't under pain of sin um, if you miss Sunday Mass still even now. So if you are sick, don't come to church. Please don't come. Stay at home. If, uh, if, if you're a person who's particularly at risk for, it could be any number of reasons, right? Maybe this isn't the time when, when you should be coming back to church, maybe quite yet. So you have to make that decision for yourself. And uh, please do be careful and be safe, right? And then uh, also, if you want to continue following us on the live stream, we will continue to do that on Facebook and on the internet. Um, you'll notice as well, we've been doing just a few things inside of our beautiful church. We're, we're so lucky. When you come, you'll be able to see, and I'll point it out to you. Um, we have on the altar still St. Anne. St. Anne, pray for us, right? Um, lastly, I just want to give you one final quote from Mother Teresa. She says, The Mass is the spiritual food that sustains me, without which I could not get through one single day or hour in my life. And again, we've been experiencing that, right, of how difficult it is to live without the Eucharist, without the Mass. She goes on to say that in the Mass, we have Jesus in the appearance of bread, while in the slums, we see Christ and touch him in the broken bodies in the abandoned children. So for her, it was receiving Jesus in the Holy Eucharist and then going out to find him and to see him in the poor and those who are in need. And it's the same for us, right, as we go about our day um, filled with, with the graces of the Eucharist. 
And so look forward to having you back, right? If you can come safely, come and join us. We're resuming weekday masses, um, weekend masses. Where I, I should mention, we're, we're not doing, at least this weekend, the first weekend, the 5 o'clock vigil mass, but we'll just be having the, the 10 a.m. regular English mass on Sunday and the 12 uh, noon uh, traditional Latin mass on Sunday as well. So we'll focus our energies on there and then figure out the following weeks if we need to expand or if we need to do something differently. God bless and look forward to seeing, uh, to seeing you soon.